Hi friends, isn't it hard to be honest about our struggles? I mean, we all talk about wanting to be authentic people, like that's really, you know, validated in our culture, but the reality is we're willing to be authentic enough just that we look authentic, but we're not really ready to get really real. I mean, isn't it hard just to be honest about our struggles? I think we have an inbuilt desire to hide. And it goes all the way back to Genesis chapter 3, where you see our first parents, Adam and Eve, they sin. And what do they do when they fail and mess up? They go and they hide behind bushes. Like, they're, they're hiding from each other because they're embarrassed from each other and what they've done. And, and they're hiding from God. And I think we've been hiding ever since. It's hard to be honest about our struggles. But this is God's word to us in 1 John chapter 1, verses 6 through 7. If we say we have fellowship with him, while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. This passage is telling us that the gospel of Jesus Christ, his message, the truth of who he is, and the hiddenness of sin, walking in darkness, trying to hide, trying not to show things. Those two things, Jesus and hiding, are incompatible. They're incompatible. If we say that we have faith in Jesus Christ, that yes, he is our savior. And yet at the same time, we feel ashamed to talk about our sin. At the same time, we want to hide our struggles. At the same time, we want to walk in darkness and just not be really known. The Bible says we lie. We're, we're deceiving ourselves. The truth of the gospel hasn't gotten a grip on our hearts. I mean, think about what the gospel is. Think about what the gospel says. Right? The gospel is, at the center of it, Jesus Christ dying on the cross. And so think about what that says. If Jesus has to die on the cross for our sins, then guess what? That means you're a sinner. And not only does that mean that you and I are a sinner, that also means that our sin is pretty significant. I mean, our sin is so serious that the only way it could be dealt with was for the pure, innocent, holy blood of God to be spilled. Like, that says something about the horrific nature of our sin. And yet it also says something profound about the love of God. Because, yes, that's the cost, and Jesus gladly paid it. Yes, we're that sinful, but we're also that loved because our Savior did die on the cross for our sins. And so, friends, the gospel of Jesus Christ is what allows us to be honest about our struggles. It's what allows us not just to be authentic enough to look like we're authentic. It's what allows us to be really real, to be honest, to say, listen, I've got this struggle. Not in a way that we're just defeated, not in a way that's like, hey, this is who I am, I'm a sinner, and you know, sinners are just going to sin. No, no, we can be honest about our struggle, but as we're honest about our struggle with others, guess what? It says the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all our sins. That word cleansing doesn't just mean forgiveness. It does mean forgiveness, but it means washing away. I think often one of the reasons that our sin stays so present in our lives is because we're not experiencing the cleansing power of Christ that comes through walking in the light. We allow sin to, st to cling closely to us like dirt that stays on our body if you never take a shower. No, but when you get underneath the waters of Christ, which is the water of his blood, his blood comes and it takes away our sin. It forgives us, but not only does it forgive us, it, it leads us in his paths of righteousness. And so friends, there's nothing that is more hopeful than being able to be honest about our struggles. The only struggle we should be worried about is a struggle that we're too scared to be honest about. But if we're able to talk about our struggles, if we're able to be really real, that's how sin gets less and less of a grip on our life because we're assured of God's forgiveness. We're reminded of the fact that Jesus has died on the cross for all our sins. And because of that, we're forgiven of all our sins. And because of that, we're empowered to be cleansed from all our sins. There is no sin in our life that we cannot experience the cleansing of Jesus Christ. There's no sin in our life that we might continue to struggle with again and again and again, and yet can continue to have victory over again and again and again through the power of Jesus Christ. There's no sin in our life that is too great that our Savior can't forgive and too strong that our Savior can't break. But how we experience this cleansing power of Jesus is through not walking in darkness, not hiding, not pretending like we don't have struggles. It's through the power 
of honesty. How honest are you, really? Who around you really knows the real you? This is one thing that the church of Jesus Christ is meant to be. It's not meant to be a judgment center where we all look better than one another and look down our noses at each other. No, it's meant to be a hospital where we come and we're able to be open and honest about what ails us and be able to receive the cleansing, curative, every kind of symptom treating medicine of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so my encouragement to you, friend, is first of all to be honest and second of all to be a hospital. Be honest about how you struggle, and then be a hospital for others. Be a safe place for sin, sick, struggling saints to be able to come to you and be able to share about their struggles with you. Don't judge others, but remind them about how Jesus was judged for them, so that they are forgiven of whatever sin they're confessing, and they're empowered to change. Friends, there is power to be found in being able to be honest and being able to be part of a community of honesty a community of a hospital where the gospel of Jesus Christ is celebrated as the curative medicine that it is. And so friends, don't allow your sin to keep you in darkness, but step out, step out, be honest with other gospel-believing Christians and experience afresh the power of Jesus Christ in your life.